Grandma Mary here, and I'm here with the fantastic Joel Com. I'm so happy to be here. This man literally wrote the book on Twitter. I mean, right here, Twitter power. If you haven't picked up this book, you need to go get this book. But it's fantastic. And, and I'm here to just ask Joel a few questions, pick his brain, if you will, and, and find out more about how he uses Twitter, how he, what he recommends that us to, how he recommends us to use Twitter. Give us some little insights, tips on, on social media in general. So, so Joel, tell, tell, I have a lot of viewers who... <laughs> For the first um, time in my life, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what grandma does to people. I, did you uh, did you bring chicken noodle soup? Any, I, I, any grandma type stuff? I really didn't. I brought nothing. I came with nothing. And Joel's got a lot of toys here, though. We'll toys. talk. We'll talk about those later. What but, do you want to know? So, Joel, what I want to know is how do you recommend? I have a lot of small business people who watch my blog and and that type of thing. How do you recommend small businesses use Twitter? Well, you know, it, it doesn't matter what your age is, even for a uh, centurion such as yourself. Exactly. An octogenarian, <laughs> uh, some Aryan. You're all Aryans. I don't know what that is. Um, any age should be using Twitter, and it's for businesses from uh, small to massive. And the reason is, is Twitter is what I liken to the water cooler of our time. The water cooler is where people gather to discuss what? Anything everything right they're talking about their business they're talking about projects that are going they're they're talking about their boss they uh, they're talking about last night's episode of idol they're talking about uh, what the president just said they talk they talk about their kids and their spouses and their dog and their lumbago yeah, you know whatever exactly and so twitter is very much like that it's where people are gathering to talk about anything and everything and they're doing it by the millions, the tens of millions. Well, where people are is where you want to be as a business person. You want to be plugged in because, again, it's free, mm -hmm. it's easy to use, and anybody can do it because you don't have to be a novelist to share thoughts on Twitter. All you've got is 140 characters. I mean, if you're short with words, Twitter is the place for you. That's <laughs> exactly. And you could always break it down. If you're long with words, just chop it up in little pieces. <laughs> That's right. So how do you, uh, what do you say to those people who say, well, I just don't have enough time? Because they don't, they, they're, you know, as entrepreneurs, time is a hot commodity. It's a hot potato. It is. It's uh, it's almost a pickle. <laughs> it's a hot pickle. Uh, you know what? I gotta. I'll we just, gotta get the pickle out. Gotta get the pickle out. <laughs> I just got this. What was your question again? No. Uh, here here's the deal with Twitter. Uh, Twitter is something that you do naturally. It's part of your day. I, I like to say I tweet like I eat, when I'm hungry, or I've got food in front of me. Mm -hmm. So in Twitter terms, that means when I've got something to say that I want to share or when I've got some time and I want to interact with people. It's not something that rules your life. It shouldn't rule your life. There are some days I won't tweet at all, and there's other days I'll fire off 20 or 30 of them depending upon what's going on. It should be a very natural thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love to tweet from my phone. I've got uh, an iPhone. Yeah. And, uh, and he's got a fantastic app if you haven't heard of the iFart it's fantastic we can demo it if you want to uh, I'm not sure if it would offend some of it your, might be offensive yeah it is offensive yeah. but no more offensive than the yodeling pickle the yodeling pickle this w is would you like to I'd like to In case you didn't get it, it's a pickle <laughs> and it yodels. Okay, that's who does not need one of these, that's, huh? That's, uh, <laughs> Amazon.com, right Amazon there. Amazon or yodelingpickle.com. Yodeling. I, think, I wonder if that's available. I don't. Yeah, it, could, it could be a good site. <laughs> <laughs> or a tremendous waste of time. <laughs> 
So obviously, Joel, you like to have fun in your work. We've got the flying monkey. I do. Oh yeah, the flying monkey. This is uh, he's become our mascot. Yeah. Uh, the flying monkey is representative of uh, all that is right with the world, and uh, we order them by the case. And they've got a little Infomedia badge on the back. And really what it, what he stands for is that uh, we do business and take our business seriously, but we also like to have fun. Um, in our work atmosphere here, it's important to us that, uh, that people enjoy what they do, that they um, express their gifts, talents, and abilities, that their God-given talents in a way that makes them fulfilled, and that we create products and services that are fulfilling and sometimes entertaining. And here's the monkey. <laughs> that was a flyover. Mm. They'll be circling around in a bit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Beware of flying monkeys. Yeah. And that, that is your monkey, Grandma Mary. <laughs> and uh, he does not come with care and feeding instructions. So oh, you're going to have to just figure that out. I hope. I hope I can. I hope I can do justice to the monkey. So. That's that's fantastic. I love I love Joel's attitude here. Have fun in your business, people. It's lots of fun. Grandma has fun. It's fun to have fun. You got to enjoy what you do. Well, I love what you do and make money doing it, right? That's what's better than to uh, to do what comes naturally to you and get paid. Mm -hmm. that, that's why we created these. Yeah. This is another another product we've got here, Kaching. Who doesn't like Kaching, <laughs> right? Who doesn't like Kaching? You, you, every time uh, you, an order comes in, wouldn't you like to hear the sound? Go yeah. ahead, push it. There you go, Kaching. If you it, can't hear it's that, it's Kaching. <laughs> and I've got a book coming out in the summer of 2010 called Kaching: How to Build an Online Business That Pays and Pays. And uh, you can't get one of these right now. Mm -mm. You want one, but you can't get one yet. Soon you'll be able to get one. Yeah. So that's coming out June, July ish. Something like that. I don't know. In there. I just do what they He's tell me. He's working on them. He's got a lot oh. of things going on, people. So I, I, <laughs> I do what they tell me to do. I don't know. <laughs> so look for that book, June, July ish, Ka Ching. What's the, what's the, how to? How to build an online business that pays and pays. That's fantastic. And what it does is it covers the, uh, the different ways that we make money online. I've been doing business online since 1995. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, you know what old is, Grandma Mary. <laughs> I and do. That, that's a long time in internet years. I mean, and if you figure in the first time I ever dialed into a BBS, do you know what a BBS is? <laughs> that was way back then. Uh, on a 300 baud modem with my TRS-80 was 1980. Yeah. So technically, I've been online for 30 years. That makes me an internet <laughs> old timer. <laughs> I remember walking through the snow barefoot to dial up to AOL. <laughs> AOL. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah, there you go. Oh, AOL, CompuServe, Delphi, Prodigy. Um, what was the other one? There was a, a Genie that was GE's online service. They tried to compete. Wow. And I've got a floppy disk from the first version of America Online. Wow. Yeah. When Maybe. they used to send those out, like... Oh, yeah. well, before I mean, they, oh, they yeah, even yeah. before, I feel my hair graying as we speak. <laughs> is it just being in your presence? Is that it? Is, it? I, I'm like freaking Dorian age. Gray. I age people. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll just be a shriveled corpse. Yeah, that's... Uh, Grandma Mary's met her match. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Now, uh, one more question for you. Where do you see the future of, I mean, it's hard to predict the future. Everything's moving so fast. I have a couple more questions. I lied. I got a couple more questions. One is, uh, so one is where do you see the future of, of social media, of Twitter? How is this all going to evolve? What do you, where do you see it going? And then also. I'm going to have to ask the pickle. <laughs> oh, magic. Magic Yodeling pickle. pickle. Where is the future of social media? <laughs> Oh, wait, uh, the pickle is speaking. I'm, I'm getting it. This is how we roll here at Info Media. I'm, I'm, okay, <laughs> I've, I've got it. The uh, the future of social media. Uh, stock up on pickles. Pickles, there yes. we go. Yeah, plastics and pickles. Plastics, <laughs> Plastic. the future is plastics, I tell you. Uh, you want me to answer? Sure. I, I hate to interrupt your grandma. No, no, no. I would I'm... do it to my own grandma, too. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, you're so funny. Um... So social media is here to stay. 
it clearly it's tapped into a very basic need that we have. You know, we sit at our computers, uh, and yes, we're networked all over the world, but it's still a very lonely exercise. We're very much by ourselves when we're in front of our computers. And social media has brought us back to the basics of what we need most as human beings, and that's human interaction. Mm -hmm. It's dialoguing, it's sharing, it's, it's, it's sharing experiences, it's it, it discussing, it's interaction. And so uh, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, may it rest in peace. I know it's not dead officially yet, but it is dead. Um, LinkedIn, all these social media sites are reconnecting us, and, and people are building real relationships. And uh, and as a result, smart business people who are plugging in are, are seeing that this is a great way to build relationships with their prospects, with their customers, to enhance their brand in the public marketplace, and to, uh, to grow their network, uh, which essentially – if done properly, not in an in-your-face, buy-my-stuff kind of way, but in a, hey, we're real, we've got real value to bring, and we're going to bring that to you, that comes around to grow your bottom line. That's, that's fantastic. That's and great. And that so, is all the serious stuff you're going to get. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> That'll be $60, please. <laughs> It's I'm the Grandma Mary special. I'm on, I'm on a fixed income here. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix it. <laughs> now, um, what other sites do you like? You, I know Twitter, fantastic. What other social media sites do you like? Well, really, there's five that I use mm -hmm. uh, and four that I recommend. Um, that is Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. The fifth is Stumble Upon, and uh, there's not much to say about it other than stumble your site. So uh, the others I use, and I use each of them for a very specific purpose. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Twitter obviously is the mothership right now. It's where you're going to interact in real time with people. Facebook is great for fan pages and for groups and for connecting with people. I hate their 5,000 friend limit. <laughs> I capped it out. Last year, I've got almost 5,000 people wanting to friend me and be in the queue. So it, it just doesn't have that same usefulness. Um, LinkedIn is great to grow. Uh, to just You're always two steps away from anybody you want to meet. And so just growing a network on LinkedIn and connecting with everybody so that if you do want to meet somebody, you can get an introduction to them. It's great for that. And YouTube is great for video. Uh, yeah. You got to got to be doing video, you know. Even if you're like me, you got a face for radio. Um, people don't <laughs> care what you look like; they care about the value that you bring. And so, get one of those little flip video cameras if you need to. And I like to uh, let's pretend this is a flip video camera. Uh, what you do is you turn it on, extend your arm, and hold it in front of yourself like this, and walk. It, and it looks like a camera crew is following you around. <laughs> that's that's. It really yeah. does. I've done it many times. Yeah. So those four sites. All right, that's fantastic. And um, here's an, a new thing on Twitter. One last question. Twitter lists. How do you recommend people use them? Uh, and, I, don't, I don't care for them. I don't see a need for them. Uh -huh. I just, I don't get it. Uh -huh. Maybe you could explain it to me. Yeah, I, oh, I use them to help me find people I want to follow. Uh, but you can use Twello or yeah, any other Twitter true. directory that's true. There's, for that. I yeah. just, I don't. And I'm, I'm listed on like 1,500 lists now, and, and I'm thinking, you know, this is more of a nightmare. What if there, somebody's built a list, uh, people that, you know, I want to see their eyes bleed out, you know, and I'm on that. I just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be just added to any list, and now I've got to go and watch where people are adding me to. And I, I just, I don't get it. I don't like it. I have no use for it. Sorry, Twitter. All right, there you go, Twitter lists. Not so, a thumbs down there. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe, thank you so much for, and I, I just want to reiterate everyone, go get Twitter power if you haven't gotten it already. We got ka -ching coming out. We got a, goat, a potato head. I got that in a, uh, a white elephant at uh, Christmas, <laughs> you know, the, the gift exchange. That's a good gift. It is a good gift, and we've got the yodeling pickle. And the yodeling pickle. Can you think of a better note to go it's out on really, than a yodeling pickle? Folks, we leave you with the yodeling pickle. Thanks so much, Joel. And uh, folks, n have fun in your business. Recommend you check out Joel Com stuff. It's fantastic. Thanks, everyone, and talk to you next time.